Good morning, guys. It's kind of a little, little, little bit of a late start today. Uh, I'm about at low tide already. I'm out here, at, uh, Stafford Island. Uh, I think I'm gonna try a couple of spots I haven't fished on here today. Uh, it is a beautiful day. I'm hoping it's gonna be a little overcast. It's a little hot. It's starting to get, it's May, I don't know, third, fourth, somewhere in there. And uh, probably fourth, probably fifth. Uh, but it's um, getting hot down here already. So uh, I'm gonna see what we can come up with out here on a float rig. Picked up my stuff at North Star Bait and Tackle today, uh, like I normally do when I come to Crooked River. And uh, let's see what is up. Yeah, the good thing about coming out here and uh, dead low tide, I mean, it's not always the best time to fish, but you sure can see everything that you've been fishing. If you've been fishing an area or you want to try a new area, you come out here at dead low tide, you can see everything that you need to see. Uh, I mean, you can see this over here behind me, this big sandbar, usually it's underwater. Uh, it's just a good idea get out there and look around see what you got uh, but like I said it's not always the best fishing but it's just a good time to be out here and discover stuff Paul's not with me today he's out of town so you'll just have to I'll just have to talk to y'all I don't have anybody to talk to so Tammy won't stay on the phone with me the whole time I'm out here fishing that's a little inconvenient so uh, I'll talk to you guys I got a, I'm gonna move around a little bit here. I'm seeing some bait up here, kind of on this point. Splashing around. Uh, here we go. <laughs> Feels like a pretty good, uh, pretty good trout. inches almost 18 pretty cool yeah mr uh mr all red down there in pensacola i watch his youtube channel all the time he does kayak fishing gentleman a little older than me <laughs> he's a good bit older than me but he said the other day when you find the bullet you find the fish and i have found there's a bullet all through here a little bit shark. He ain't figured out he's hooked yet. Once he figures out he's hooked, he's gonna go crazy.
just lost to something else right there. That was the weirdest shark fight I have ever, I mean, it just kind of took his time. He never did pull hard. He didn't have to. Yeah, I'm throwing these like giant shrimp stuff. I mean, every time I throw one of these things, something. jig out there. Pretty decent little trout. It's a good one. Fifteen and a half inches. Another one on the jig. Just a, uh, looks like about a quarter ounce jig head with a Z-Man, new penny. They're hitting it. There's a lot of fish there. The last time I threw out, I had about three strikes on it. Before that little one finally got it. There's one right there. Go for a...
Nice one, little one. Don't you how many fish I've missed right here? You wouldn't even watch this video. You'd just say, oh my god, this guy's horrible. Not a keeper. I like the feel of this one. Feels like a good one. Nice trout. Let's measure it. Seventeen. Nice big fatty. Yeah. Good. I don't know if y'all like to watch these videos where I catch a bunch of them or not, or like them just when we talk and have a good time. <laughs> I want to tell you one thing, I like this kind right here. <laughs>
Well, they've shut down. Shut down on me. There's always, you know, it's always that time. You gotta go. Because I had a pretty good day. Not awesome, but I'm happy. I caught some good keepers. Like I said, I'm gonna have some fish in the freezer here for a while. I was getting low.